Welcome to the Cam Mac Adventures. I'm Cam Mac. This beautiful lady next to me is Alex Mac, my wife, and we're coming to you from Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. Now, it is a really cool place to shop, dine, and be entertained, but this is a place that we come on the regular to go on dates. What we're going to show you is the top seven places that we recommend to try a date here in Disney Springs. Let's go. up on this date night, Morimoto Asia. Morimoto Asia is in the heart of Disney Springs, right in the Springs area. There's actually a bunch of locations in this very restaurant that you can take in a romantic experience. From a sushi bar to two different bar locations, additionally private seating if you're looking for that, and sushi of course. I got the Tokyo Bullet Train, it's bullet bourbon, lemon, campari, and a five spice for honey. with the Manhattan East. The Manhattan East actually features the Maker's Mark bourbon selection that's made specifically for Morimoto Asia. It also has a Junmai Sake in it and a little bit of Domaine de Canton, which is a ginger liqueur. All good things. Let's taste it. Man, I've had some bad experiences with Manhattans lately, especially that one from Big Fire a little bit earlier. Uh, but I will say that this one is well balanced, delicious, nice little kick of ginger at the end, and very sweet. I like that a lot. Normally a sweet Manhattan isn't something great, but this one is awesome. So we have the shishito peppers as one of our appetizers. They are flash fried, sprinkled sea salt, and it has a wasabi cream sauce on the side. I don't like the when it has like the heavy breading on it. These are perfect. Highly recommend. We also ended up with the California roll. The California roll here is delicious because it's actually made here in house. There's a sushi bar upstairs from here where you can actually see everything being made right in front of you. You can even sit at the sushi bar. So with the freshest ingredients and absolutely delicious, this California roll rocks. It comes with enough wasabi on the side as well, so I can give it that kick that I love. You know I love spicy stuff. Number two, Disney Springs date night, Raglan Road Irish Pub. This is one of our favorite places. It has traditional Irish food, a really good perfectly poured Guinness. It has a band that plays all day, well several bands, and they actually have dancers during the day. All the performers are from Ireland and Scotland, which is probably one of the coolest things ever. Um, and we actually met in a tiny room in the back called The Snug. It's where um, I first got to meet this lovely man. <laughs> yeah, it is. We stopped in for a quick Guinness each. We listened to some tunes and headed off to the next stop. I will say if you're here early enough, you definitely need to check out the Raglan Road Irish Dancers because they perform usually till about 9.30 at night, but they are a sight to behold. We're gonna go off to the next stop, but we just wanted to show you one of those spots we definitely recommend is number two. three on this list is a great place to visit if you want to just chat and have an intimate conversation with someone over some great wine. So here at Wine Bar George, I'm actually enjoying a Spanish Rioja called Triton by the Toro Winery. It is absolutely awesome. Now, in addition to the wine, you can also take in a few charcuterie boards, light tasting plates, or go for a whole dinner if you'd like. One of our favorite things to do here, though, is to look over the patio and kind of sort of people watch. So when you get on that second level bar like this, you can walk out to the patio, and this table is available for dining where you can actually look out and enjoy the scenery of Disney Springs as everyone walks by. He got a red wine, I got a white wine, apparently they're both Spanish. See? Yeah, see? It's already working. stop on our Disney date night here in Disney Springs actually features the boathouse. The boathouse is full of yacht club and boat style nautical appeal. It's also got great food, fresh seafood from all over the world, including a raw bar, as well as some great cocktails. So we're going to take in some cocktails and go out to our favorite spot, which is a dockside bar out there on the water that overlooks the Saratoga Springs Resort as well as Disney Springs. I got the Duck Duck Raz. It's solely raspberry vodka, peach schnapps, blue carousel, lemon, and soda. And it's got the little baby stuffy in it. Oh my god, look at it! Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> I ended up grabbing the Moscow Mule. It's made just like a Moscow Mule. I know. Quack, quack! I got a little ducky kiss.
number five. Enzo's Hideaway Tunnel Bar and Restaurant is probably one of my favorite places to go. It's super tucked away in Disney Springs. There's really good authentic Italian food, a whole meat and cheese section, a really good bar. And it means a lot to us because we had our honeymoon in Italy, well, part of it. And we would always drink these babies. Aperol Spritz. Salute. Think about these if you haven't had one. It's very orangey, very prosecco-y, it's delicious, very light and refreshing, and the alcohol content isn't very high. So you can drink a bunch of these like we did on the beach in Italy. It was so awesome. It really helps us reminisce. It's also a little out of the way, so you can get away from the hustle and bustle of the crowds normally, but it's such a cool place to visit. Definitely recommend it. Number six on our list is one of our favorite places to stop any time of day, any time of night, but mostly at night because after 10, this place is solely for 21 and up. We're at the Edison. The Edison is a power and light company that shut down and is repurposed as a speakeasy style bar. Here, you'll find amazing food, the drinks are awesome, and there's nightlife and entertainment most nights. Tonight, doesn't turn out there is any, but after 10, usually there's a jazz band and a burlesque dancer and there's a bunch of stuff. So make sure you check their times guide because then you can see when these things happen, but we're here for a quick cocktail and one of our favorite appetizers to get while we're here. This is our favorite bartender here, Noelia. Noe, what have you brought us here? So I have the Edison. Um, it has Woodford Reserve. It has a little bit of pear brandy in there. It has a little bit of honey, and it has uh, lemon, so it kind of balances it out between the sweet and the sour. It's pretty good. It's probably my favorite drink here. Yeah. I gotta just hop here and say this chick rocks, so if you get to come here and order a cocktail, make sure you order from her, because she's awesome. Without a minute to spare, I dove right into the Edison. It's awesome. Woodford Reserve, because all the other 96-year-old women like me love it. I love it a lot. Uh, it comes with a little lemon juice and honey, as Noelia said, so the blend, the balance, it's awesome. It's iconic, because it's named the Edison after the place, so its namesake better be good, and it is. It's so two purple petals. It is a vodka based violet, lavender, botanical flavors of everything. And it's delicious. We ended up grabbing the candied bacon. It comes in a clothesline, just like when you hang out with your laundry back in the 30s and 40s. But this definitely makes a statement. One, it's unique, it's delicious. Two, the presentation's amazing. So it came out with this smoking little frond of rosemary that was really neat because everyone around us was talking about it and they could smell it and see it. It was awesome. It comes with a little fruit compote and house-made pickles. It is amazing. We love this. Every time we come here, we try to get this. Guess who arrived? This is Raina. She's the absinthe fairy and of the 1920s, I have absinthe, I also have a vanilla vodka with blackberry, I have two tequilas, watermelon and blueberry, and I have a rum shot of fire. These are shots of happy thoughts. Alright, listen, I'll just I'll just go for your favorite. Okay. Just, whatever your favorite is. Okay. And then and then Alex is gonna have one too. Alright, I'm, I'm not looking still. This this is gonna be strong, huh? Happy thoughts. I'm so happy all of a sudden. That was great. <laughs> Thank works. you very much. It works. Yeah. Pixie does send your way. Adventures. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more great content. Now, I'm going to beat Alex. Here comes the strike. <laughs> <laughs>